If you are a Nissan Patrol with auto locking hubs and you're thinking about throwing an auto locker in the front, I'm going to show you one thing you need to do before you do that and that is manualize your auto locking hubs. The tools that we're going to be using to be able to change this from auto to manual is brake cleaner or WD-40, an 8mm allen key, a 21mm socket, a ratchet, some long nose pliers, a flat blade screwdriver, a bar you can use to put on the uh, allen key to crack the bolts on the hub, and some grease. So to show you what an auto locking hub is, so obviously you've got this nut in the middle, you've got a little icon here that says lock and auto. So we're going to actually spin that into the lock position and then we're going to get our 8mm allen key and start undoing these bolts. Uh, with the last bolt taken out, you can literally just wiggle the hub straight off. Now, try and not get shit or any dirt within that because, well, you don't want to have any dirt in that. But we're going to pull all this part and we're going to clean it and re-grease it. But let's just put this on the table and show you what it looks like. So now that we've pulled those bolts off, we're actually going to go put them in a little container and spray them with our handy degreaser and give them a clean. Now, you don't have to do this. Um, but it's just good practice as you've got the bolts out and you can clean them and I've just already done it So I'll go ahead and show you what it actually looks like So you can see the degrees are is already gone black. So you got Sorry about the camera you get a lot of shit in your threads and on your shaft as well And because we're going to be re-greasing the whole assembly you might as well just give them a bit of a clean Before we put them back in All right, so now comes the fun part. We actually need to pull apart the auto locking assembly so we're going to need uh, pointy nose pliers and a screwdriver and probably a vise, but I'll have a go with it without the vise and if you can't do it, then you guys are going to need to use a vise. So inside the actual auto lock in there, you can see if the camera wants to focus, there's those two little nipples. We need to squeeze those with our pliers and then we need to get the screwdriver, we need to Pull this up and pinch it and get our screwdriver in and try and jimmy it. As you can see, Dave's putting a lot of force on this by pinching that circlip and then getting the screwdriver in and trying to pop it. Come on, mate. Put some muscles into it. Oh. Two hours later. And, and there you go. Oh, I'm just going to show you pretty much the difference. This one here is sitting in the auto position on our little dial and you can see there it moves freely. Whereas this one here is sitting in our lock dial and you can see that's it, that's all it moves. So now that's technically locked. So we can pretty much go ahead and re-grease these and then throw them straight back in the car and we'll have manual locking hubs. So I'm just using this EPL 2 series grease so now that we've packed up and cleaned all this, we're going to get our grease and we're just going to re-grease these hubs. Now, don't be shy. Remember, more is better. Now that we've greased this up, we need to make sure that we've got the arrow in the lock position because we did take it off the car in the lock position. So make sure you do that before putting it back on. It's all greased up and all good. Now we can put the hub back together. We tighten them up exactly like you would a wheel with doing the whole opposite bolt. So I'll get Davey doing that, as you can see. He's going from one side, going from here to here to here, there, there, and so on. I'll get out of the way and I'll let the uh, apprentice <laughs> <laughs> finish the job. And then we'll put it into auto and make sure the diff is unlocked. Alrighty, so because we didn't have any jacks to throw the car on, we couldn't actually prove to you that this method works. So we're back here in the workshop. Obviously, I haven't got a beard anymore. As you would have seen in the beginning of the, um, the episode, uh, this is a week later. So anyway, we're just going to show you right now that this does work. So because we can't hear absolutely nothing because this car is so loud when we're in a little shop like this, we're just doing a voiceover just to show you that at the moment we're in two-wheel drive and we just saw in the beginning the rear wheels were spinning. Now Dave is just throwing it into four-wheel drive. And we've currently got it in the auto lock position as I'm trying to show you here. I know my filming is horrible. <laughs> this was a bit rushed as it was late at night. 
But pretty much what we're going to do now is we're going to be putting it into the locked position on the hub and show you that here, as you can see, all four wheels are turning. Now, this isn't me throwing it. As you can see, I'm going to try to grab it and it's not doing anything. But this is to confirm that this will now be completely be a manual locking hub. So we have now myth busted that this works. So if you do this to your GU or, or GQ, or I'm pretty sure there's some Land Cruisers that come out with auto locking hubs, this will solve the issue of your auto locker engaging while on the road. And you don't have to go out and buy new hubs. You just have to pull them apart, take that locking ring out and put it back in. So if you guys enjoy this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be doing a lot more helpful tips on how to modify your car and save you guys a lot of money. But anyway, that's Jake and this is Dave and this is Nuts and Bolts TV and we're out. Woo! My car will go so fast like this. I'll say... Like, I didn't know what I was doing. The hardest thing with this is... You don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're under pressure. With know. this fucking thing. Now I feel with fucking... You, <laughs> you're you're fucking scary. <laughs>